Today, I would like to show you how you can have multiple views of the same image. Use the extra sub window to preview your work and save your progress as you go. Hello and welcome back. Before to start, let's talk about the overview docker and let me show you why I do not use it. If you do not have this option already on your interface and would like to try it, let me show you very quickly how to get it. Go to settings, choose docker. Move down and you will see the overview docker right here. You can move the docker on either side of the interface. If you want, you can also have it as a free-floating docker and move it on the very top of your canvas. If you hover on the sides of the window, you will see a white double-headed arrow appear. Drag the arrow to increase the size of your panel. As you may already know, the overview docker allows you to have a full preview of your image as you draw. But there is a just one small problem. As you draw, you will notice a time lapse between what you draw and when Krita is able to generate a preview. Now I know it's not a big deal, but uh, some of you may find it uh, very distracting. The docker offers a few useful options. You can zoom in and out. You can navigate on the image by dragging the view rectangle. Finally, if you click on the letter M, you can mirror the image. Our document right now is seen as a tab. So let's change this to another mode. Go to Settings, choose Configure Krita. We are in the General category. Click on the Window tab. Open the drop-down menu and select a sub-window. Click OK. The document is now a sub-window. Let's move it and resize it. The next step is to create a duplicate of this window. The duplicate will be used as a preview panel. Back in the toolbar, this time click on the Window tab. Select New View. As you can see here, it shows you the name of a document that is opened. So click on it. Your duplicate will appear on the side. You can move it and resize it if you want. Now, before to continue, there is one thing that you need to know. Unlike the overview docker, you cannot position your duplicate on the top of your main document. And let me show you. If I click on the original window, the duplicate hides behind. So to avoid this from happening, just make sure to move your duplicate anywhere on the sides of your main work. Since the two sub-windows are connected, whatever you do on one of them will be done on the other and vice versa. For example, if I add three new layers on this window, and now I click on the duplicate, you will see that the three new layers are there too. When you draw or paint on the main sub-window or its duplicate, the first thing that you will notice is that there is no time-lapse. The preview of your work is instant.
I am in my Windows Explorer. As you can see, I have saved several images of my progress. Having all these images in front of me is going to help me decide what I want to keep. For instance, I created two versions of a toucan bird, one with flowers and one with stars. Having the two images side by side will really help me make a decision. All right, we are done for today. Please make sure to tell me in the comment area if this tutorial was helpful or not. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. I will see you next time. Au revoir et à bientôt.